Assalamualaikum everybody, my name is Rida Qadri, I'm an MYN student and today I will be talking about Sumaya bin De Khayyat Razia Ta'ala Anha, who was also the first Shaheed of the Ummah. So who was she? So originally she was from Abyssinia and she was born about 20 years before the Prophet Wasallam was born. She was in her 60s at the time when she was killed and she was also a slave girl to Abu Huzaifa ibn Mughira. And when Abu Huzaifa died, she and her family were at the mercy of the tribe. And Abu, Abu Huzaifa married her to Yasser from Yemen. And they both remained as servants to him. She gave birth to Ammar, uh, who was her son, and who was also the same age as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So the first seven, so Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Abu Bakr Raziya Ta'ala Anhu, Bilal Raziya Ta'ala Anhu, Khabab Raziya Ta'ala Anhu, Shoaib Raziya Ta'ala Anhu, um, Amar Razi Ta'ala Anhu and Sumaya Razi Ta'ala Anha were the first seven to make their Islam known in Mecca. Her son was the one who accepted Islam and later uh, Sumaya Razi Ta'ala Anha accepted it. The Prophet and Abu Bakr uh, had protection from their tribes, but the others were all brutally tortured and intimidated publicly by the Kuffar. So the first lesson we get from here is we as youth should not wait for our parents uh, of Salah and Quran reminders. We should be the ones to willingly acquire the knowledge of the deen and share it with the family and others like Ammar. So we shouldn't always be doing things because our parents are telling us we should take the initiative. So the persecution by Abu Jahal. So she was the first to be willing to stand alone for the truth, even if it meant putting her life on the line. She is what they call the Asiya of our Ummah, and Abu Jahal was the Pharaoh of the Ummah. Uh, she was old, frail, Black woman who had no social status at all. Abu Jahal tried to break her spirit in public as a lesson to others, but was really unsuccessful in making her renounce her faith and curse a prophet publicly. He humiliated her in public and tortured her and her husband and son in front of her, experimenting with different types of torture, which is horrible. The Prophet ﷺ was troubled by the persecution of the Muslims, especially the family of Yasser, but he was not able to do anything to protect them, and the only thing he could do was com comfort them by saying, Patience, O family of Yasser, you are destined for paradise. It was this promise of paradise which strengthened them to be steadfast in their faith and to be patient with the trials they were facing in this world. So another lesson we can get from this, our second lesson, is we should also remember this prophet, this promise of the Prophet وسلم, when we face any calamities or any obstacles in this test of life, and we should always face it with sabr. So Sumaya Razi Ta'ala Anha was weak from torture. Abu Jahal was mocking the Prophet وسلم, and she spit on him and said that he is smaller in her sight than a beetle on the ground. In retaliation for that comment, Abu Jahal then put a spear through her midsection and she died. There is something amazing. This woman never saw bliss in this world and experienced only hardship before and after accepting Islam. Yet she is the first martyr of Islam, although she did not see the glory days of Islam because she was the first shaheed, so she didn't get to see anything else. She preceded, uh, she preceded everyone from our ummah to experience the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So another lesson, our third lesson, is those that die for the sake of Allah do not die at all. Rather, they're still alive and honored, but in a state that we cannot comprehend. This is the status of a shaheed. They see Jannah at the first drop of blood that falls on the ground after they have passed. And now another lesson we can get here is the honor of Allah is not to go by distinctions of this world. We should not underestimate or overestimate a person's stature since only Allah knows that for sure. So Maya Razi Ta'ala Anha was a black slave woman who was weak and old, yet Allah honored her. So now her son Ammar, Ammar saved himself by cursing the Prophet وسلم, as Abu Jahal ordered him. He felt so bad about it and he was so ashamed to look at the Prophet after that. But the Prophet told him that he wasn't angry with him and that if it happens again, to curse him again to save himself. Ammar continued to see the murder of his parents go unpunished for seven to eight years until Hijra and couldn't do anything about it. 
Abu Jahal was finally killed during the Battle of Badr, and Ammar was martyred 50 years after the death of his parents in the Battle of Sifin, thereby gaining the title of a martyr like his parents before him and making theirs a family of martyrs who gave their lives to protect and spread the message of Islam. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much. I hope we took some important lessons from this. Assalamu alaikum.